They had their hands on their guns, but uh, it was good. Just stay calm when they do that. Just stay calm, put your hands in the air, treat them with respect. And things seem to go good when you do that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say right now. Um, they're using the Tim Hortons. They're hunting in the Tim Hortons. They've always got people set up in the Tim Hortons. When you show up there and you're one of their prey items, they all start descending. One by one, they come and they try to intimidate you. They look at you. They fucking do all kinds of fucked up shit, right? They want a reaction out of you on camera, just like in jail. They want a reaction out of you. And... Uh, yeah, then it's on camera that you just got up and started beating the shit out of them, right? And then back to jail you go. We're back to another mental institution for more hell. With every terror altercation, he'll have a good sense explanation. You're just the illustrated because he made your dick deflated. It's oxymoronic. It's oxymoronic. It should be doctors getting more antipsychotic medication to help you with your free thinking. Whatever. These motherfuckers. They have no idea who they fucked with. I am not a goddamn prey item. But anyway, they got me chipped, for sure. I don't know if it's in my clothes. I'm not saying it's under my skin, but some nights I fucking, when I was a little scared, because it was all a little new, I'd go into backyards, and I'd get into cedar bushes and hide there, and I'm like, okay, cool, I got a place to sleep for the night. But one by one, they start moving in, they surround the fucking property, they come with dogs sometimes, pit bulls, rotties. Um, yeah, they move in threes. In threes, always in threes. You know, walkers and drivers. The worst fucking drivers in this town. Assertive community treatment team. It's also the same symbol for the mental health shit in North Bay. I want to show you these vehicles. I want to show you who the worst fucking trolls are in North Bay. White SUVs that look just like that. In North Bay is a variation of a swastika. It's uh, got like the windows colors and they tried to bring me there for more help, a place to stay because I'm homeless. And it was like I was talking to fucking robots, man. It was two cops from the North Bay police that showed up. They're moving with, they got a mental health expert and then another cop in civilian clothing with a belt. And uh, yeah, they're working as a team and I don't know, they knew everything about me. Fuck, when they brought me in, buddy had his laptop out, he was talking to me and all kinds of research. I said, well, I, you know a lot about me, don't you? <laughs> it's like, no, no, it's just, I just read this just now. I said, oh, you took all that information in in one fucking minute of looking at that screen, eh, bitch? Like, well, I didn't say it like that, because then I would need more help. That's racist. <laughs> well, anyway, um, this is North Bay, a place where we live, work, and play. 
Over the last 100 years, our city's waterfront has gone through a significant transformation from a thriving hub of rail activity to a space that encompasses open, natural expanses much loved by residents and praised by visitors. Now it's time to build the foundation for the future of the heart of our city. The city's downtown waterfront is full of untapped potential. Opportunities for private investment that will encourage and drive economic development and vitality, as well as enhanced green space that will continue to provide a high quality of life for residents. Following 10 months of consultation that saw over 2,000 points of contact with the community, the vision for the downtown waterfront has become a lot clearer. It describes a fully connected downtown and waterfront that not only reflects the city's history, but also creates new centers of activity, including parks and open spaces that can support a vibrant downtown and waterfront year-round. We invite you to come out and see the future of North Bay. Join us on March 1st at 5 p.m. at City Hall. Together, we can do this. Timmy's Battle of North Bay Timmy's <laughs> uh, Maybe we'll get something to eat um, Then there is a rally actually at the jail All the guards the Guards are awesome so I'm going to go up there and support them But if I go back in there I'll probably get my ass kicked for doing that Real man What? What? <laughs> Anyway, yep, December 21st, the hunt resumes, 10 o'clock. December 22nd, I don't know, I just went by the jail, they were having a rally there, I missed it. Want to get a picture with them, but I guess it's a conflict of interest if you've done time and take pictures with the guards, they might get in trouble, which I guess is understandable. I don't know, uh, came to a new Tim Hortons, found some new trolls. Uh, didn't get pictures of them though. <clears throat> um, what else? Yeah, I was walking past the old uh, homeless shelter where they tried to kill me last week. The people had run the fucking place. This is where it all started. Once I got out of jail, I came here. This is a cult recruiting center. This is the crisis center on the corner of Chippewa and Castles. I did those. Those had to be Nazis. Those were fucking fucked up people, man. It's a cult in there. Um. 
Yeah, anyway, a North Bay fucking city truck puts on his lights and then backs up onto the sidewalk behind me and, you know, typical trolling shit, like... Lots of times you're fishing bucktails, you always hope that he's got a fast retrieve because it's great to fish the bucktail fast, bring it in, figure eight, and throw it out there. But a lot of times you get bluebird skies, bright conditions, tough fishing. More often than not, you've got to use a slower speed retrieve with the bucktail. So you're just bringing it in nice and easy. The advantage of this Shimano Tranks reel is that even though you're bringing it in slow, if you got this big power handle, if you crank it a couple times faster in the mid retrieve, it makes that skirt flare on the bucktail. It makes that bucktail lift. And it's just a little speed burst that'll happen in a slow retrieve. And it can trigger strikes. So next time you're out there in a situation, you've got to slow down your bucktail retrieve speed. Put on the tranks, the slow gear tranks, the 4.6 to 1. And you go slow with it. And then every now and then, one, two, three, four, five. Give it a speed burst. And that speed burst, a lot of times, will trigger a following fish. You may not see them, but all of a sudden, they'll bite it. It happens all day. The, the even old ladies are doing this shit. Like, I was in a bus stop the other day and fucking to get out of the rain. This old lady starts telling me about how this building was blown up because it was sinking into the ground. Like, and then she started like twisting her hand and like, eh, eh, what the fuck is this chick doing? Like, I don't know. It's fucking. There's got to be at least a thousand of them, man, in this fucking city. <laughs> like. had a uh, like a casino light kind of flashing up on top of the hill when I first got out man and it was people moving in packs of threes fucking yelling fuck you fuck you in threes always in threes they're still moving in threes like but it's just kind of died down now but it's just more subtle now or maybe I'm just getting used to it I don't know they don't scare me anymore that's for sure First, the numbers fucking terrified me. Um, I don't know what else. I'm gonna go see the mall. I've seen a lot of guys from my hometown in Mattawa hunting in the mall. We're using cell phones again. These fuckers are all using cell phones. We got spotters in every Tim Hortons. Well, that's a whole different uh, story. That is completely ran by the cartels, the Mexican military, and there's five different types of police in that area. From what my buddy Anthony was telling me, the guy who drove me in, and you don't know who's bought out by the cartels. You see spotters standing on the side of the road, just hanging out in the middle of nowhere with a cell phone, and they're just watching. And the, the biggest thing you have to do when you're out there is not raise any kind of suspicion, because as soon as one of those spotters sees you, calls it in as suspicious, the cartel's going to be over you. They run the cabs, they run the buses. 